Have you ever wanted to render liquid but got this banded effect and you'd prefer to see it smooth like you saw right there? Well, there's a couple of tricks to get this done. First, let's model our water here in on shape by using the enclose feature. So we easily have a quarter inch removed from the top and we need to actually intersect the faces with the water and the glass. So I'm doing a move face operation, direct editing here inside of on shape. And I want to just make sure that we intersect the liquid and the glass. Let's just take a section plane through the middle here. See, I have a gap here. Let's actually make sure it's interfering. You can see the interference there in red. And we'll just set a version on that. So when we go to render studio and update the scene, we'll see the gap in place. All right, so let's take a look at this from the front and assign our appearances properly. We're gonna go to the cup and set it to a glass material, which has a bunch of properties already set. And I'm gonna find any water here and assign it. Of course, we can change the color of the liquid in the appearance properties. I'll also establish a, uh, an HDRI scene here so we can see the effects of the refraction in the liquid in the glass. You can see it looks pretty good right now. Let's do a full rendering of this glass uh, in its scene here. We can remove the background if we want or leave the background in uh, place, depending on what your use case is for the rendering. So now it's rendering it on the AWS GPUs that Onshape Render Studio runs on, and we'll get the final result right here. And you can see that the result is indeed good. So you might need to play back and forth with the gap setting, but that's how you render liquid in Onshape Render Studio.